25. Possible action following closed session, 5.01. I have a couple motions. Uh, first, I will move that the appointment of Wanda Lucier be terminated effective immediately for the reasons stated in the superintendent's letter to Ms. Lucier dated December 23rd, 2016. Support. Motion, Mr. Zorn. Mr. Lee. Any questions? Hearing none, it calls a roll call vote. Mrs. Lucados? Yes. Uh, Mrs. McCoy? Yes. Uh, Mr. David Myers? Excused. Mr. Doug Myers? Yes. Uh, Mrs. Delaney votes yes. Mr. Thorne? Yes. And Mr. Honeycutt? Votes oh, yes. Motion carries 6 0. Next, next one. Uh, second motion. I move the, um, the um, Board of Education on our workers' compensation attorney, Edelson, to the settlement negotiations for workers' compensation case WC. 61901-31, not to exceed the specified amount. A motion, Mr. Zor. Mr. Zor, is there a second? Motion to support. Support, Mr. Myers. That'd be Doug Myers. Any other questions? Hearing that, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries 6-0. Thanks, Madam. Oh, that's possible, yes. Yeah. Motion to close possible action. Motion support. Motion by Mr. Zorn, support by Ms. Blaney. Close possible action of the board. Any questions? Hearing on all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Next slide. Uh, 6.01 administrative review presentation. Mr. Penny is uh, passing around um, a slightly revised and updated administrator review copy. I know the board uh, each received a copy back before the holiday, and Penny and I were, were presenting it, and that, that night we we uh, did not actually complete it. We, we uh, were stopped a little bit prior to uh, the conclusion, and so um, we've drilled down on some additional information, which uh, Penny will walk us through here in just a moment. And so she and I together will, will tag team some parts of this. Um, and uh, you know, that'll, that'll wrap it up as far as a, uh, maybe a little more in-depth view. Because of the, the sheer magnitude of all that we're gonna share, um, this will help kind of set the stage for a subsequent discussion that we'll have on this topic at the Finance Committee meeting. Um, one reason to do this is of course, we know uh, when we look back to where we started the school year, um, you know, we, we really have a lot to, to be thankful for coming out of the holidays here. Um, we started the year, we know, with a negative $4.56 million budget. Um, we, we made some difficult choices as a district uh, going into the start of the year with some layoffs and some uh, restructuring. And, uh, of course, the board affected the building closure of 6th grade academy. Um, and then really through a great uh, grassroots effort with uh, TFT 26M, TPA, TAXA, uh, board, uh, cabinet, just about everybody. We, we were fortunate to have the millage uh, as well as the bond pass. And so um, those two things single-handedly brought the district out uh, of deficit along with the cuts we've made. And now we have a very small reserve uh, in the bank. That reserve will not last. Uh, unless we, the district, continue to take a look at ways uh, in which we can um, continue to, to work to right size and become even more efficient. And so part of that work is figuring out where we are. And so the administrator review is a comparative study uh, that Risa uh, put together with peer districts, and Penny's done a nice job of breaking it down in some sections a little bit further. So we'll, we'll take a few minutes to walk through this, and then this will serve more as a underpinning for some of the later things that we'll talk about um, under other one. I have some other things to share that relate to Kennedy and Sixth Grade Academy and uh, so forth. And then, of course, for our Finance Committee discussion next Monday. So, Penny? 
Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It looks identical to what was in the. This is also what was in that actual Friday update. So it's not something that we haven't seen. But okay. I did, because we were discussing it, I made more copies. So like for some reason, people didn't have the computers so they didn't have it here. Are no, thank you. I just want, I didn't I know if there was some paper change. And give you extra than not enough. Yeah. Yep. Um, I knew, you know, Penny, I think that was a wise way to share it because until, until we're very sure that our new board members have board docs and are comfortable with how to navigate yeah. that. We didn't want you not to have it. Typically, when we send the board packet out, all those attachments are embedded in board docs, but uh, Penny just put it in the Friday update right in the email there. So, um, you know, better, maybe an easier way to get it uh, in transition. So, so. Okay, so on the first page of this packet is the peer district comparison. Um, at the last board meeting when we went over it, we went over a lot of these information. Unfortunately, we went through it rather quickly. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So I just wanted to make sure that we touched base and went through them again and answer any questions that we have to go through. When we picked the peer districts, we picked districts around us, and although some of them may or may not have center programs like we do or bus we needed to make sure that we picked something that we were compatible to in certain areas. Um, obviously with Allen Park, with you look at it, it doesn't have the same frame reduced. However, the special ed population is a higher special ed population. It's not as high as ours, however, it's up there so it's more compatible in the special ed area. When you look at um, Oak Park, they have a higher percentage of frame reduced than we do. So it's kind of we have to pick and choose which areas we're looking at for which district. Not any one district is going to match us identically just because of the nature of the district and the makeup of the students within the district. A, a question on that, because I was thinking, in previous ones we'd seen, I remember like last year we saw somebody, one of the, 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 the comparison districts was like Northville, which, right. you remember that, which yeah. you could, I never understood that one, for example. Right, and so, what I did, and even the first go round that um, Lisa gave to us, they gave us different districts in Kent ISD or Rosewood or some districts that I've heard of, but a lot of people, I've only heard because I went to the business meetings or I've been to the different superintendent meetings. So they were way up north and a couple hours away. And so I couldn't wrap my hands around them as to how they related to our population. So if I felt if I couldn't wrap my hand around it, how can I ask seven other people to wrap their head around it to get to a similar um, conclusion? Thank you. Okay. Are there any questions on this page, and why we chose these districts? I, I mean, could, I, thanks for clarifying that it was the same as in the Friday update. Because to me, it's <coughs> you've got a pretty rounded sampling, right? I mean, you've got districts with counts way lower than us. Uh, I think the, one of them is really close to the Lincoln Park. Yeah. So, um, at any rate, so I mean, to me, it's, I mean, it's about as good as you're going to get. I don't want to speak. When I, when I looked at it, they, they were local, so we could relate. And right. in some cases, they had higher special So I, I thought it was a pretty good sample. That's all I'm saying. On the next page, it's the Friday update. And we talked about they went through student count, they went through staff head count, uh, they went through the teacher head count, and these are 14, 15 numbers. So obviously there's been some changes and some attrition through the, because of the fact that when we did the, the administrative review, our numbers had not been finalized through the audit, so they weren't unable to get the last year's data. So it is two years old, and we could go through and pull some of these same numbers for 15, 16, but I did not do that yet because I wanted to make sure the direction the board wanted us to go. Didn't want to pull a whole bunch of data and then you say, we won't, really don't need this. This isn't the area that we want to focus on. I'm more than willing to pull any information that we want, you want to look at and compare, but I want to get feedback from you before we go ahead and do that. And this is all generalized? Yes. Well, yes. Actually, the count is general ed, but it does include the special ed staff yeah, that for this. Okay. So, 